So, you have created an awesome website and are now ready to go live with it. For now, your website is recognized by the default domain name, but you can connect your own domain, one that is suitable for your business and brand. Note that your site has to be on a pro or premium subscription to be able to connect to a domain. To proceed, enter the site settings, navigate to the domains tab. Click to connect an existing domain, then enter the domain name you own in the pop-up window that appears. Now you'll see the instructions which you'll need to follow to connect your domain. Basically, you'll need to open your account at the domain's host. That's where you initially purchased the domain. The domain in this video is managed at GoDaddy, so let's see how you can connect it there. Copy the NS records you see in the pop-up, then enter them in the NS records field at the domain registrars. See how this is done in the GoDaddy's account? Go back to your Weblium account and click Done. After that, wait for 24 to 48 hours for the domain to propagate worldwide. This is a standard process true for any domain names. Note that when you connect the domain with the help of the NS records, further domain management will be done on Weblium's end, but the billing is still done at the domain registrars. If you still would like to keep the domain management at the domain hosts, then the option to connect a domain with the A record would be preferred. Basically, you start from the same point, adding the domain to the site in question, but this time navigate to another tab called Via DNS Records. Copy the A record, then open your domain host's account and enter the record in the relevant field. Go back to your account on Weblium and click Done to finalize the domain connection. Once your domain has propagated, your website will be accessible by a unique domain name, which is great for SEO and brand recognition.